If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video. And today we're going to be opening up DBT06, Blazing Dragon Reborn. So this is where we're going to be seeing the new support for crossover dress we see here with the new Nirvana. And we're also going to be having some new support for Leonorn and Youth Burke. So before I crack it open, just gonna kind of show off the sides here. We got our disclaimers, we got our breakdown right here. So it kind of shows that we got uh, different types of cards, the nations that'll be represented, how many cards are in a pack or how many packs that we're getting. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. We got a special unboxing key now. Got all the saran wrap off, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Got our little advertisement for Will Dress for the new anime, Vanguard Zero, and Groovy. Surprised they don't have any ads for Vanguard Deer Days by now. Game's gonna be coming out in a month, but I guess, you know, you know, we got our main pack, so we should be getting 16 packs, so it should be eight on each side. So we got our eight there, and we got our eight there, so we're just gonna go ahead and start cracking open these packs. So I'm actually gonna be building both Crossover Dress and Youth Burke from this set. So you should be seeing two new deck profiles from me in the near future. All right, so starting off are common, some Brant Gate stuff, triggers, Bruce support, a heal trigger for Brant, that looks nice. This looks like Leonard support, some Meg Connie looking thing, and we're starting off with a triple R. That's cool, right off the bat. Combined rushers. So when this unit attacks a great for your greater unit, if your order zone has two or more set orders, this unit gets 10k until the end of that battle. Drop zone. When the set order you play from your hand is put into your order zone, counter blast one and call this to rear. This is really good for refilling your board. It's an easy cost for a counter blast, and almost every single brand gate deck uses set order cards, so this is very splashable with most decks. So I would say this is just a really good card to invest in if you want to build any brand gate deck. So that was our first pack. I'm gonna set that triple R off to the side. Next pack. Common. Dragon Empire Common. A new Dark States crit, new draw for Dragon Empire, the starter for Heroes, which is a new archetype for Brant Gate. We got a Hollow, or what is this? This is an FR, Flame Rare, because it's got the little border here for an order card. This is In the Dim Darkness, the Frozen Resentment. Uh, what this does is you pay Soul Blast 1, three cards from your deck, cost is Soul Blast 1, look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one card from among them and discard it. Choose a card from your drop zone with grade less than or equal to your vanguard and call it to the rear guard circle. So this makes a really good field builder for Zorga. This is also really good for premium if you're gonna be playing Aqua Forest or Grand Blue. So this is actually a really good card to, to look out for. And we got our next triple R. I'm actually gonna be needing this. So we have Youth Burke, Realm of Form, Gust. So what Gust does, it works with Youth Burke in terms of fulfilling Revel Dress. So when it's placed on the Vanguard Circle by Revel Dress, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, you may discard a card from your hand to give this unit an extra 10,000 power and an extra drive check. So because both the new Youth Burks, Skyfall Arms and Protofall, they make sure that the new unit that you ride through Revel Dress lose drive minus two, meaning they won't be able to perform twin drive, except with Gust, you'll be able to perform a single drive check if you discard a card. Second skill is like the rest of the Revel form cards. At the end of your turn, you choose a card of Revel Dress ability in your soul and you ride it as rest. Just like all the Revel forms, but this one lets you get an extra drive so that can help you kind of get some more pressure by getting extra crits, which is nice. All right, we're killing it with this box. We've already downed our two triple R's. We should be getting three triple R's and hopefully something extra like an SP, that would be nice. Got the baby, Keter Sanctuary card that looks like a mech. Uh, this is the new ride for the crossover dress deck. This is the grade two Ryu. A new order card, one of your Nirvana gets an extra 20,000 until the end of battle, so it's a blitz order. And <laughs> the new sun su surprise egg instead of sunrise eggs is the new starter for the crossover dress ride line. 
Grade 1 Diablos, and we have a double R, Turn Fracture Dragon, and is that it? Oh yeah, this was our rare, Shayna. What does Turn Fracture do? When this card attacks, hits a Vanguard. You may draw a card. If you drew a card, choose a card from your hand, put it into your soul. It does suck that this has to be on hit, but that's a pretty decent skill if it does hit. Of course, it has some on hit pressure there as well. Next pack. Got a new Dragon Empire card, new front, new front, uh, grade one for heroes it looks like, another Diablos card, new Sentinels for Dragon Empire, little looking, looking cards, Brand Gate rare, and is that it? Sentinels are rares? Yep, Sentinels are rares, just like from DBT01. Next up. A uh, new front trigger looks like, new front trigger. This is a really good card for Youth Burke, Menacing Tiger. Oh, that's so cute, look at the heal trigger. Uh, new Keter card, Battle Sister looking thing. New Keter card, this looks like, yep, it is uh, Hex Orb support and Double R. This is Babs Order support. So what this card does is during your turn, if you have two or more arms on your van, this gets an extra five. So it's a 15k beater. Drop zone. When your unit is placed from the drop zone to rear guard circle, if your vanguard is sealed, blaze made in Bazzarga, kind of one and call this card to rear. So after you use Bazzarga's skill to call a trick star, you can then counter blast and call this from drop as well. So it's helping you rebuild the board with your Bazzarga deck, which can help you save hand. You already have the shield with Bazzarga that kind of helps you mitigate your hand defensively. So this is a a good like in-between offensive defensive card because it helps you build a board to be more offensive. For a counterblast one that's a super super easy cost so this card's going to be very very beneficial. Beneficial. We got a draw trigger, new dark states card, new dragon empire card, new heal trigger for dragon empire that looks really nice, new heal for Keter. For our rare this looks like hero support and wow i got a reprinted over trigger for uh stokea and it's got the same rarity foiling except i think this is orr so it's nice that, that we're actually getting our over triggers back yeah we got over triggers i will admit not the over trigger i wanted but i am glad that i did get an over trigger because it's nice we only had over triggers printed in dbt01 so it's nice to have them in circulation again all right we're still missing a triple R and an SP. New front, new order card for Leonor. We got our grade one Reno. So I um, almost have the crossover just right line. We just need Nirvana Java or Ava, however it's pronounced. All right, this is our rare, which is a prayer arms card. This is the new mechanic for crossover dress, just combining prayer dragons and um, Trickstar. And this is our triple R, Miss Merciless Count Botus. So this is a pretty decent card for Dark State. So what it does is, I know it's like really hard to see the artwork from the foiling in the camera. When you soul blast two or more cards at a time for your card's cost, this gets 5k until the end of turn. If you soul blast it three or more at a time, Count of Blast 1, choose a card from your drop and put it into your soul. Choose up to one of your opponent's rigors in the same grade as that card and you retire. It's helpful for board control and it's also helpful for being able to pick cards from your drop zone specifically and put them into the soul. There's a lot of different decks that have abilities based on the different grades in the soul, so this card can help with that as well. The artwork in this is really crazy. It kind of gives me like a mix between Ram Blue and Darker Regular vibes. Very wild artwork there for sure. So those are third Triple R. We should still have a chance to grab an SP. So let's go ahead and filter through that. Seeing some repeats here. Rare, looks like Leanne or Support and an Order card for Youth Burke. Halfway done. Get the other half going in a bit. Oh, we got our Trickstar reprint. So that's nice that Trickstar is gonna be coming back in the set. So you actually don't need to buy new or, or the old Nirvana trial deck because the Trickstars and all the new support don't work with the old Overdress stuff, which kind of sucks, but at least if you wanna update and use the new stuff, you don't need to go and buy the old trial deck. You can just buy booster boxes or singles. Hollow rare for it looks like to be Greedon support and 
a double R for Stoicia support. It looks like, this looks like mix support. Oh, it's a flag bird support. I was like, this kind of looks like a, a flower maiden, but no, it's a, it's a mermaid for sure. So this is flag bird support. All right, we're still on the hunt for our SP. I'm hoping that the over trigger didn't take the slot for the SP and I'm not just hunting for no reason. That's a really cool artwork. That's what Stoic K has been missing. Some good Aqua Force looking triggers. That's also really cool looking. The heel for like kind of like a pale moon aesthetic. Another PG, which is nice. So we got Brand K PG and more greed on support. All right, next pack. Like we got us a little front trigger, common Keter card. Hero support, another surprise egg, another defensive order. Uh, this looks like Seraph's snow support and another order card for crossover dress. It feels kind of bad going through all your 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 high pulls first because then you're just kind of shifting through all your commons like oh yeah, whatever commons and rares, blah 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 blah. And another PG. Okay, so three PGs. Three PGs in the box, that's not bad. That, I really like this artwork for the Stoic K PG. This is really, really cool. Next up, Keter card, Rayu, Defensive Order, another Surprise Egg. Seen a lot of this. Oh, okay, so another Dark States PG. So I've gotten the Brant Gate, Stoic K, and Dark States. Did I get another one? I don't know if I've gotten the other two yet, but I've gotten three of the Nation PGs thus far. Hello, a fourth Triple R. That's cool. Hold on, right? Yeah, we got four Triple R's in this box. That's actually really cool. So our fourth surprise Triple R is Bram Virena. So you crossover dress with Trickstar and a Prayer Dragon. And then during your turn, this is in crossover dress. He gets 10K and if your opponent's at grade three or greater, it gets another 10K, so it's at 20K. The second skill is once per turn when this attack hits a Vanguard. If this is in the crossover dress state, you Soul Blast one, choose one of your columns and you retire all of your opponent's units in that column. So what's nice is that you're able to choose your column and retire everything. So it doesn't matter if your opponent's board has protection because you're choosing your column and then blowing up the column regardless. So this is actually really nice against decks like Magnolia that have field protection. I mean, you're picking your own board first. So this, this is a really good card for board control. Uh, and also because we're doing a new mechanical crossover dress, this is most likely a four of, probably three to four of. But this is a really, really good card. That's actually a really fun surprise. I wonder if I'm still gonna get my SP or not. All right, new critical art. That's cool artwork. That's I, I like this like golem look. That's just an interceptor. Waste of good art. <laughs> Draw, another baby. Prayer dragon that works with the sword of Irina and a quarter card. What is this one doing? I'm curious. Swap your regrets position during the main phase. Oh, okay. We're down to two packs. This is one of the two. So we'll see what we get. Some steampunk looking triggers. Another beaver. And oh, this is a cool double R. This is decisive axe dragon. During the battle this attacks, if your vanguard rode by an ability this turn, your opponent cannot call normal units from guard or to guard from hand. So if you're in the rebel dress state or you performed rebel dress, and this swings, your opponent can't call PGs or the uh, normal unit PGs from their hand to the Guardian Circle. They can still use that one order that came in the neutral decks because it's being played to the order zone, not to the Guard Circle. But this is a good way to get around PGs as well. It's a pretty decent tech. A fifth Triple R? When this unit is placed on rear from hand, if your Vanguard is grade three or greater, kind of last one, choose a grade three or less from your hand and call it from your drop and call it. During your turn, if you have two or more grade one or less rear guards, this gets 5K. That's not bad. It's a good support grade one. There's actually really, really good grade one. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think I've ever pulled five triple R's in a box in my life. Do I Do I still get my SP? <laughs> we, got, we, have, we have one pack left. Let me see if I still get my SP. 
If I still get my SP, that's insane. Common. That's good artwork. Another Rayu. Keandre. Front. Keter PG. So, I mean, unless the next card is the Dragon Empire PG, I didn't get all four. A double R. So I did not get an SP. So I'm assuming the over trigger takes over the spot of an SP, or I just got lucky getting five triple Rs. What does this card do? When this card is scouted, you soul charge one. So that has to do with the hero mechanic. If your order zone has a base and you have a Vanguard with hero in its card name, this gets plus 10K shield when this is placed into the guard circle. So it seems like a de decent card for the hero uh, theme. Yeah, I guess we'll go over just the the high rarity pulls. So for double R's, we have Turn Fracture Dragon, Shabda, our Over Trigger, Theodosia, Espida, and Frozen Resentment as our, which I think this is our Flame Rare because it's got the border around it. For our triple R's, we got a Combined Rusher, our Gust, our Botus, our Virena Grade 3, and our Diantha, which reminds me a lot of uh, Diana, I think, it, or Diane from the Asha Trial deck. I mean, I didn't get an SP, but the fact that I pulled five triple R's is pretty cool. And these are all like actually really good staples. That's a staple, that's a four of for sure, that's a four of for sure. Pretty sure this is a four of Leonorn, and I really don't know about this one but I feel like I've heard really good things about some really funky premium plays you can do with this card. So I feel like these are really decent pulls for the most part. This was a fun experience that I've never opened five triple R's in my life. That's, that's really cool. I will be showing some deck profiles on these two decks. So for uh, Rebel Dress and for Crossover Dress, I will be showing some deck profiles on those in the near future. Um, in the meantime, just kind of Stick around and wait for those. And thank you for watching. So a couple things I realized after going back over my cards. I missed a double R uh, by the end of it, but we already saw this earlier. Decisive Axe was one of our double R's that we pulled. And then I also realized in terms of my flame rares, uh, I did, this wasn't just a hollow. I forgot that I'm not doing hollows anymore. So my little Famon, well, however it's pronounced, is my other flame rare. I just couldn't tell because the border just wasn't as obvious. Um, but I did get two flame rares on top of my double R pull. And then another thing that I realized towards the end is I actually did pull all five of the Nation PGs. So in a box, you do get all five, which is nice. I just, for whatever reason, forgot that I pulled the Dragon Empire one first. So by the end, when I pulled the Keter one, I was like, oh, well, I get all five. I, it was the first one I pulled. I just forgot. So the ratios in this box are really weird. I would say that you are guaranteed the five PGs. You may or may not be guaranteed two flame rares. I would say you're probably guaranteed at least one flame rare. And then the triple R's and the SP and the over trigger, I have, I have no idea what that was about, but here we are. Um, I'm actually really curious to see if anyone else bought a box, how their ratios were. Um, did you get an OT? If you didn't, did you get five or even four triple R's? And did you at least get your SP? Because maybe the OT counts as the slot for the SP. I don't know. This is uh, this has been a very emotional roller coaster to say the least for an unboxing. So, but it was still fun. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.